So I'd like to demonstrate just using a USB flash drive like this one here on a handset running Windows Mobile, Windows 10 Mobile. I'm getting ready to go on a business trip to Europe and I want to catch up on some videos from the WinHack developer conference that I missed. So I can copy the MP4s onto this USB flash drive so I can watch them while I'm in flight. This is a development handset that supports USB accessories via dual role support. Before I leave, I copy the files onto this flash drive so that while in the air, I can watch them. Let's see, you can bring up the file explorer. You can see some of the files there on the attached card. So let's catch up on some of Don Box's keynote from WinHack. So now I can binge watch all of these videos while I'm on my plane. And even, and even better yet, I can have more videos than the form natively supports in storage. Next, let's look at vendor-specific accessories. Those are the ones that, are tip, that typically require an app from the folks who developed the accessory. Examples include smart covers, fitness devices, um, robots, smart toys, and the like. The app commands are commonly unique and not standardized across different hardware manufacturers, and the drivers do not often fit into a well-defined class. Let's look at an example. So I'd like to demo an Arduino on a USB handset. This is a very simple future USB accessory on a development handset that supports USB dual role. It's built with the popular Arduino prototyping platform that many folks use to make new accessories and things. Here's a super simple app that reads data from a temperature sensor and writes data to the LEDs on the board. You can see that I'm controlling the different LEDs by just flicking these toggles here. All the hardware that I'm showing costs roughly $40 and can be ordered from Amazon. And the app that I'm showing, as well as the sample source code for the microcode for the Arduino and the wiring diagram, we plan to publish in early June. Now this is just a simple example of something you can easily prototype using an Arduino and this support in Windows 10. You can also do way more advanced things. For example, some of our quality folks are actually working on a way to build a voltage meter using something like this to actually measure the quality of 